Changing a mail merge field means you have to have the mail merge uh, template open and um, some sort of resource where you're going to be getting your data, so your recipients. So I've already selected some recipients here from a CSV file. That's a download from Arctos. Um, and what I want to do is get rid of this institutional catnum field and change it to uh, identifier. So I'm going to highlight it like I just did here and um, delete the whole thing. And then we're going to insert the new field. So to insert a new field, you insert merge field, and then you pick from the things that are available in the resource you're connected to. So you have to be connected to a resource or it's not going to work. So I'm going to change this to identifier. Um, once I've done that, um, it's changed in this first label, but not in any of the others. So usually my favorite way to do this is I kind of leave the first one alone because it's a little bit special. I'll insert the same field into the second one. Then I'll just highlight this whole little square here, the label, um, copy it with control C, tab to the next and paste it, tab to the next and paste it um, until I've changed all the labels on the page. Um, and for the mail merge to work right for these labels, you have to have um, a page filled up, but not more than a page. So you want to make sure that you don't um, fill beyond the page or else you'll always wind up with some weird dangling label on a second page. Um, but if you have a single page full, it'll just continuously print if you have uh, labels that are more than one page. So now you can see I've changed these all to identifier um, and now they should um, they should work for you. So I'm going to save this. And we're good to go.